It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. Today we're going to talk about a person named Josh Mandel. Now, who exactly is Josh Mandel? Well, according to his Twitter profile, he is the first statewide official in Ohio to support Donald Trump. He is a Marine. He is pro-God, pro-gun, and pro-Bitcoin, fighting to protect the Judeo-Christian bread rock of America. You guys are probably thinking to yourself that this video, more or less, is going to be an attack against Mr. Mandel's faith. However, it's quite the contrary. The main reason why I'm making this video is because Mr. Mandel is running for United States Senate, and apparently it seems as though that he doesn't really care much about separation of church and state, and so without further hesitation, let's look at his video and just respond to the claims that he makes. This question is for you. You have a minute and a half, and Morgan, you'll have a one-minute rebuttal. You're often criticized for taking your campaign directly to churches, and a comment you made concerning church and state has raised some eyebrows in the past. Did our founding fathers ever intend for government to be sterilized from every religious belief? I do not believe in separation of church and state. There is no such thing. The founders of this country, the founding fathers, they did not believe in separation of church and state. When you read the United States Constitution, nowhere in the United States Constitution do you read about separation of church and state. It does not exist. The left in this country is a godless left, it's a secular left, and they have a race to secularism in this country. They're trying to take faith in God out of all aspects of our society, and personally I think we should be going in the opposite direction. Rather than watering down on our Judeo-Christian values, we should be doubling down on our Judeo-Christian values, instilling faith in the classroom, in the water cooler, and everywhere in society. When I saw that clip for the first time, I found it completely detrimental that Mr. Mandel outright stated that apparently more or less the United States was not founded on the principle of separation of church and state because more or less I would think most politicians who are running for office have a general understanding about the founding principles of our nation. And so without further hesitation, Let's point out to some evidence of the United States separation of church and state within the constitutions as well as the various letters that has been done by the founding fathers. Now the First Amendment states that Congress shall not make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof. When it says like make no law establishing religion, it means that the state as in the government cannot say that Christianity or any type of religion is the official religion of the state and prohibiting the free exercise thereof means that a person even though they cannot have a state religion that people are still allowed to practice the religion and their privacy and their own personal lifestyle. In article 6 cause 3 it further states that the senators and representatives before mentioned and the members of civil state legislature and all executive and judicial offices both of the United States and of the civil states shall be bound by oath and affirmation to support the Constitution, but no religious text shall ever be required as a qualification to any office or public trust under the United States. So what exactly does that statement mean? More or less, as somebody is running for office, and of course they swear to uplift the Constitution, a person can swear on whatever kind of book or text that they want to. And so, although that many people in the past and present swear on the Bible to go into office, it is not a requirement by anybody to swear on a religious text before they go into office. This is a exact quotation from the letter from Thomas Jefferson to the Denbury Baptist Association. Gentlemen, the effectiveness settlements of esteem and appropriation of which you are so good as to express towards me on the behalf of the Denbury Baptist Association give me the highest satisfaction. My duties dictate a faithful and zealous pursuit of the interests of my constituents 
and in proportion as they are persuaded on my facility to those duties, the discharge of them becomes more and more pleasing. Believing with you that religion is a matter which lies solely between man and his God, that he owes accounts to no other for his faith or his worship, that the legitimate powers of government were his actions only and not opinions. I contemporate with Soren references that act on the whole of the American people, which declared that their legislative shall make no law respecting the establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof, thus building a wall of separation between church and state. Now this comes directly from James Madison. The honorable member has introduced the subject of religion. Religion is not girded. Is there no Bill of Rights declaring that religion should be secure? Is a Bill of Rights a security for religion? Would the Bill of Rights in the state exempt people from paying their support of one particular sect if such sect were exclusively established by law? If there were a minority of one sect, a Bill of Rights would be a poor protection for liberty. Happily for the states, they can enjoy utmost freedom of religion. This freedom arises from the multiplicity of sects which prevails America and which is the best and only security for religious liberty in any society. For where there is a variety of sects, there cannot be a majority of one sect to oppress and persecute the rest. Fortunately for this commonwealth, a majority of the people are decidedly against any exclusive establishment. I believe it to be so in other states. There is not a shadow of doubt of right in the general government to intermingle with religion. This comes directly from John Adams. As the government of the United States of America is not in any sense founded on the Christian religion, as it has itself had no character of the impunity against the laws, religion, or tranquility of Muslim men, and of the said states never enter into any war of the hostility against any Mohammedan nation. Judging from the multitude of letters by the Founding Fathers written exclusively for this topic, as well as the Constitution itself, it's safe to say that people like Josh Mandel and also groups like PragerU are lying to you. They're outright lying to you. And the worst part about this whole entire thing, like I said earlier, is that Mr. Mandel is running to be United States Senate and yet he does not respect the founding principles of the Constitution. So, what do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section down below. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I won't <laughs> trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.